Ah. I am a functional adult after all. Well, good evening, laddies, lasses, and lassos. Welcome to the click. You smell absolutely amazing today. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I have a box of 200 tiny plushies in my office, and I have no idea where to put them. Maybe I should just blow up that little swimming pool and bathe them. I think that's a pretty pretty solid option. Speaking of people showing off in swimming pools and that... I'm not sure if that's a decent tangent. Have you noticed a syndrome on social media lately where people seem to believe that life is a movie and not in the wholesome way? They believe that they are the main character and their story arc is the only one that matters and everyone else can just go frick themselves. It's even so common that nowadays we have a name for it. It's called main character syndrome, which maybe I mentioned already. So welcome to r slash I am the main character, a fine collection of people who believe that life is indeed a movie and is only their movie and they're so mistaken it's my movie so let's debunk them so we can make sure it's only my movie enjoy Mwah. oh yes filming myself walking around the mall where people slightly glanced over <laughs> wait no no they're like <laughs> okay okay are they like are they like going to McDonald's and just like standing snazzed up in front of a couple of small boys and essentially thirst trapping a couple of kids and be like, yeah, this is content. Yeah, that's that, that that's not good, is it? That's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. OK, yeah, we're at that level now where reaction content is no longer like like this. What we're doing here right now. Reaction content is when you do something incredibly mundane in public and then you film strangers just lightly glancing over at you. And in this case, you go snazzed up to a McDonald's and you film children looking at you. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. If you show this to a Victorian child, they would instantly have a stroke. Oh my god, it's a bunch of ducks, but one of the ducks is a little bit quirkier than the rest. Can you spot the main character duck? Oh, it's such a good duck. If I were to pick a duck out of these ones, I would pick the main character. No, come on, don't don't desassify. There we go, there we go. Keep the sass going, hell yeah. If there is a few things where main characters are actually acceptable, it's stuff like this. It's babies, it's puppies, and it's people that are legitimately really good at something, and they happen to do it in a place where people actually appreciate it. My god, this gets a gold star. Gold star. Let's see how many gold stars we get. So, they are grabbing us immediately. Okay. Over the past weekend, there was a viral social media post about an alleged incident at Hubbard Inn. The video went viral on TikTok, receiving thousands of views, shares, and comments, resulting in damages to the business staff and reputation. You will see the video post allegations along with the side surveillance footage of the alleged incident. So, they are grabbing us immediately. They don't even give us a chance to walk out on our own. Bathroom hallway. Roommate is calmly walked out, apologizing repeatedly for her behavior. I'm immediately grabbed by this man, and he's grabbing my arm, he's pushing me, he's manhandling me, and what is going on? What is the issue here? Why are you guys kicking this out? Why are you screaming at us? Um, and also, why are you grabbing me and manhandling me and dragging me, using my bag to- Looks pretty chill, gonna be honest. Below is footage of Miss Real safely being escorted from the bathroom to the exit. Yeah, that doesn't seem like manhandling, I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't seem like she's being dragged by her feet, kind of. That's I'm just pushed down very oh, dramatized. Down the Flies down, down the staircase. Kind of yell, scream back at him, kind of push back at him, and he takes me a second time and shows me again and sends me flying. Okay, so here's the footage of the staircase that she allegedly flew down. And they're just kind of strolling down. Below is the footage of them walking downstairs to the exit. <laughs> Wait. That... She was politely escorted off the premises, ensuring a safe exit. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like flying down the stairs. Unless your sense of speed is really quirky or something. It was the craziest experience I've ever... Yeah, it look, looked crazy. It really crazy. Wow. Really and utterly ridiculous how much it escalated. What? what do you mean? What do you mean? Finally, she is shown exiting the building. 
Since the post, the business and its staff have received considerable negative reviews and messages, including messages of violence and peril. Hubbard Inn is a small business of over 12 years serving patrons in, Ch in Chicago. Oh my god, that is so... I'm so happy they had cameras, though. But it's unbelievable the stuff that this happens. One thing I picked up, though, which was really funny, is that she said they were being tossed down the stairs repeatedly. I wonder how that was supposed to happen. Like, they, they get tossed down the stairs once, and then they ran back, back upstairs after tumbling downwards, and then the security guard just tossed them downstairs again. Or did the security guard bring them back up the stairs just to toss them down again for good measure? <laughs> that was something I caught that is really weird. Obviously doesn't show up in the cameras because, you know, it didn't happen to begin with, but that was just a funny little detail, wasn't it? Oh, little Mike Armo, oh, yes indeed. You're not the main character. This is a phenomenon I've seen repeated online quite a lot, where allegations like this go really viral because people don't really fact check it. And it's kind of a shame because I think what happens at the end of the day is that people are less likely to believe allegations that are actually serious because stuff like this does happen. Like shady things like this does actually happen. So this person just making this up when it's so obviously false from the basic security cam footage is just so nasty. It's nasty towards the restaurants. It's really nasty towards any future person who's actually experiencing this stuff. And now they have to deal with this sea of BS of people that don't believe it because they saw this thing. It's it's like, God, oh my God, uh, some things online still piss me off to this day, and this is definitely one of them. The left has taught us whites we should be ashamed of our intelligence. <laughs> Top 85% IQ without trying, booyah! Reprogram your perspective, people, look at this, results, your IQ is... 84? Your IQ is in the top 85%. Oh, oh, you thought you... Oh, I see. Okay, no, you're, you're in the 85th percentile. That that doesn't mean... No, that doesn't mean top 15%. That's... Ah, that <laughs> uh, yes. Nothing says proving your high IQ quite like not understanding how percentiles work. <laughs> That'll show him. Why, like, also being, like... Weirdly racist in your post. Goody. Karen blocks me, wants me to prove I live in my own neighborhood. Yeah, I do. No, right. I need you to remove yourself from the vehicle. You're... Call the police. I'm ready to talk to them. You're not allowing... you, will, you will then prove to them that you're supposed to be to here. To them, not yes. to you. Not to you. So move. Call them. Why would I call the police on myself? <laughs> That's a fair you're point, yeah. No, I don't. It's you're causing an unsafe situation and you're entrapping me from leaving. You're, I cannot leave because You cannot me. prove to me that you belong here. What do you mean, belong here? I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I've, I've driven through many neighborhoods in my days that I don't necessarily live in. Like, what would the police do? No, you're not allowed to use this public road. <laughs> what is the alleged crime here? And I agree with the person filming. Like, I think it's more dangerous to just stop everything in the middle of the street like this. Like, fam, what are you doing? And call the police on yourself, because I demand it. Yeah. Nah. Bro, I hate living in LA. Alright, got a bit of a fit. Go. What is that? Are those real? Are those real rat- Wait, wait, wait a second. Play that again. Play that again and zoom in on that. Are those actually real rats or gerbils or whatever that is? Someone took a little bit too much inspiration from those, like, 80s shoes with tiny aquariums inside of them, but now it's, like, cages with rats? <laughs> that- that- th this can't be animal-friendly, fam. Come on. Oh my god, I'm so wholesome. I bring my little babies with me wherever I go. Literally puts cages underneath their feet for some reason, stomping around with poor little rats. They are real rats, right? They look very real. <sighs> Huh? What? Hi. No. What? 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 Have people just forgotten how to socialize after COVID? Oh my! It's like so, someone's like fixing some bench press, and someone comes in like this. <laughs> Hello. Can you imagine the reaction if this was a dude doing this to a girl when she's like on a squat rack and just like sneaks in like way up there? This is so weird. This is so weird. What is it with gym culture nowadays and people just completely losing their I swear to God, they should just outlaw filming in gyms. That would solve so many issues. If I was on that plane with my kids, it wouldn't have went down like it did. There would have been a lot of blood in that first class cabin. 
Mark Wahlberg claims he would have stopped the 9-11 terrorists. He later apologized. I mean, at least he apologized for it because it's a very disrespectful and stupid thing to say. I actually remember the stories around this when, when this tragedy happened. And the thing is that the people on the planes didn't even know what the purpose was. Most people had assumed it's like, you know, a hostage situation that they take the plane, they're asking for money, they get the money and then they land the plane, you know, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. That's what most people assumed. One plane actually found out what the real purpose was. And that plane actually did end up crashing in the middle of nowhere because the people found out because one person on the plane had accidentally left their phone on. This was back in 2001, mind you. So, so like, like it wasn't as connected back then. And they knew from, from the, a loved one watching the news broadcast that this was the intention of these, um, of these hijackings of the planes. So they actually took out the assailants and then crashed the plane in an area where it wasn't dangerous. So, so they were actual heroes. So people actually did do this when they knew what the purpose of the hijacking was. So probably a good thing to apologize for a statement like that. Yeesh. Sneaking in the boys' bathroom. Right, they have stalls in the bathroom. That's crazy. Like, this is the boys' bathroom. Like, Where's the boys' bathroom? It's so crazy. Yeah, luckily, it's no one standing there, you know, literally with their private parts out. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that kind of crazy? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Bye, y'all. What? Wait, what? What? I'm sorry. I'm a guy, y'all. Okay. Okay. So it's, it was someone like putting on a fake voice. So it's a dude. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure filming in bathrooms is very illegal. <laughs> so even, even w with that aspect added, it doesn't really make it much better. Don't film inside bathrooms and locker rooms. My, <laughs> my goodness. So, oh. If you're gonna make a TikTok, make sure you film yourself committing a crime. That is one-on-one -on -one and becoming an influencer in 2024. Woo! <laughs> Sydney Night 3, my reaction to Taylor singing Exile, also known as the song that saved my life. What? What? Are, are they even inside a concert or something? What is this? I don't... I, okay, okay, like, I, I feel like one line that has been blurred way too much is like what you should and shouldn't put up on social media for, for strangers to see. Like, I have met people that have very strong emotional reactions to songs for various reasons. For example, I have an old relative and one of their loved ones passed away quite a few years ago at this point, and they played a very specific song at the funeral. So this song was like really sensitive and emotional. It was like a memory in one way, but you know, it's not the kind of song you would like whip up on the guitar around the fireplace with them because obviously it had, it had a lot of emotional aspects to it. So I have met people that have incredibly strong emotional uh, things related to songs because of context they have been played in, but I've never seen them film it and put it up on TikTok. I'm not sure about that one. Oh yeah, shake it, block that traffic. Oh yes indeed, the only truck on this road is this dump truck. Ayo. Wait, <laughs> wait, did <I> stop? <laughs> Oh my god, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. That was... <laughs> oh my, looks like it's a little bit of a hairy situation. <laughs> you can have that one for free. No, no, oh, that is so stupid. No, that's the dumbest shit ever. No, please. Oh. Let's go. Get those. Let's go. Come on. Where's the spirit? You know that. You know that the machines are gonna like mash the pumpkins, right? I will be a lot more nice. I just almost destroyed equipment for like a few ten thousand dollars. That's okay. Let's go. That was a good idea, wasn't it? You know, pumpkin. Spirit. No, it's dumb idea. I, I just told you it's dumb. That's who does that shit, throwing pumpkin on a bowling alley? 86. <laughs> your asshole. My asshole? I'll take my fat ass home. Let's go. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I'm taking you to court. Go. I'm going to court. Go. Wait, you're taking you to court? Oh, shit. <laughs> You just went into a bowling alley, not following like the guidelines at all, throwing a pumpkin into the machines, which I, I'm not a bowling engineer per se, but I can imagine a bunch of stuff getting messed up by that. And then you are gonna be the one 
who's suing someone. Like, like I suppose to take away, don't insult people, like, like, fam is, eh. But, <laughs> you're... You're really being a butthole in the situation. You know, you know that, right? You know that what you did is incredibly dumb? If I ever get back into the academy and, like, get back into statistical mathematics and stuff, I would be so interested in writing a paper with how much TikTok is, like, encouraging crappy behaviors. Because it's existed before, obviously. Like, most of this stuff isn't new, but it feels like it's just so much more common. Because now it seems like it's encouraged by cloud chasing as well, whereas in the past it was only really encouraged by peer pressure in a stupid friend group or like you got drunk and did something stupid or something like that. But now there's like a fresh new aspect pushing this and it's cloud chasing, the beautiful phenomenon. I can make like a regression analysis with this and see which variable makes the most. Although the sampling is going to be quite difficult. Like asking every person like how many stupid things did you do before and after TikTok? <laughs> what would you do? Oh, he's just doing his job. What are you doing there? That's... He's so obviously not into it. Oh, no. Is she trying to, like, film herself or something like that? Make a... Make a little viral video? Yeah. This is painful to watch. I think we could use this video as a torture method. You know, torture isn't particularly ethical, but but this, this is what it feels like, fam. You know that when he's, like, trying to turn his back to it and, like wrangling his arms out and like get the hint this is not even a hint this is like an entire wall you run into that has no written over it fam what the hell but don't they know i'm the main character of this club the dj totally wants to dance with me <laughs> oh just run no no <laughs> but why though just that's it just <laughs> ah, it's so stupid. Ah, it's so stupid. <laughs> Got some girl action in the gym, Thonan. Are you filming someone? No, come on, fam. Really? Really? That is insane. This video oh, really I called it. Me off. I called it. Pardon my language, but what the f is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. How do you not know better than to do this to somebody? I had to cover that poor woman that you were filming completely nude in the locker room at this spot. Wait, it wasn't you censored? You sit there arrogantly it laughing at her and enjoying this free show, as you call it. And you even tagged the location of this spot. Well, you're not going to be laughing for very long because I talked to them. You are permanently banned from going there. <laughs> Whoops. And they're going to try to find this woman. And contact the authorities to investigate this. It's probably and a good I idea. I really hope she presses charges. You need to do better. Mind your own business. That is so far beyond any kind of line of acceptable. I at least assumed, you know, apart from the filming in locker rooms and filming other people in the nude while changing, it's like really heckin' illegal and invasive to begin with. But then also posting it online for the world to see and acting as if you're like, haha, look how quirky this is. These girls were totally high-key high school bullies and they never grew up past that point. They peaked in high school and they seem to think it's still high school. Well, at least it has legal ramifications. There also seems to be a follow-up to this. I didn't find the full video on it, but it seems that charges are probably being pressed. And the girls also reached out to Joey Swald, the guy commenting on, on over the video, and telling him to take it down and being all like aggressive and stuff. I don't know, man. Main characters are a special breed, aren't they? You post someone else's nudes online that you filmed without consent in a locker room, you get called out for it, and very rightfully so and banned from the spot, which is like probably the least of your concerns with what you have done. And then you have the audacity to be like aggressive and demanding against the people calling you out for it. Oh my god, these people are so disconnected from reality, man. It's almost funny if it wasn't like people getting victimized in the process. What the f***? I can't wait to go back to my gym where the testosterone runs rampant. How can I walk into this bastard gym and see this nonsense murder? And there's like some kind of little medical emergency or something. Like, filming and photographing someone else's medical emergency is one thing, but then posting it on social media to rant about testosterone, like... <laughs> I swear to God, social media is like a different planet. Why would they do that? Yeah, this isn't safe at all. There's a reason they tell you to stay in the car. 
And I would also imagine, okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that when you wash your car, <laughs> you know, the, the shampoo and stuff, it's not something that is, you know, for sensitive human skin and re-moisturizing. It's literally made for polishing the metal outside of a car. This is really stupid, and it's also really high pressure. Like, this is not, you know, safety adjusted for, for example, ice or orifices and that kind of stuff. It looks like they got away relatively scot-free, but I imagine their skin is gonna be very crispy and dry for a couple of days after this. I swear to God, stuff like this is just modern Darwinism, isn't it? Oh my god, yes, walking around at Walmart, I drop this. Oh, yes indeed, yes indeed, it's very important. Why do they always do this in, like, random, non-classy public spots? It's always in front of, like, the cashier in a Walmart. <laughs> or, in the, or in the frozen meals aisle. If you're gonna post like ads and stuff like this online for like your socials or whatever it is, why, why aren't they doing it in like nice locations? Like why aren't you going to like, I don't know, a beach with a sunset or a pool? Or you know, why, <laughs> why a Walmart? Dear God, I'm gonna be honest, stuff like this gives me a very similar vibe as crappy mobile game ads. Anyone else agrees with me on that? Because crappy mobile game ads fall in that category where you look at it and you're like, there is no freaking way this works, it's so stupid. But at the same time, they keep doing it, so it must work to some extent, right? And I feel the same way about this kind of stuff, it's like it's so trashy and weird, and there are so many other better locations and way to do this, but everyone still does it. So it means it must work, right? For some reason. It blows my mind. When your flight is third in line for takeoff, but this dude needed a cigarette. No, is he smoking in the airplane bathroom? Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. We're going back to- no- So they have to take the entire plane back to the gate because of it. When they were already in the process of, like, taking off. That is so annoying. Oh my god, this little main character just ruined the timetable for everyone on the flight. Well, I hope you don't have a connecting flight because Mr. Cigarette decided he needed a smoke. <sighs> oh my god, I felt this in my spine. Bro, let him have it, Rear. Wait till he gets close to you. Oh, is this like one of those pranks that is just basically assault? Let's go. Oh yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, oh. No, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a good swing arm, though. I'll give him that. My god, yes indeed. Does anyone else remember back in the day when pranks used to actually be sort of pranks? Like, you know, the hidden camera stuff they had on TV sometimes, where they have some, like, silly stuffed animal running around, and people are like, why is there a beaver in the grocery store? You know, when it was silly stuff like that, that was quite harmless? Nowadays, all the pranks I see on TikTok are just like, hey, let's assault strangers. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> Calling something just a prank doesn't make it less bad. It's not a get-out-of-jail-free card. God. But I suppose at least if you're gonna like harass and assault people in public, you know, at least you're filming yourself committing the crime, so that's, uh, that's cool, I guess. Ooh, James Arthur concert, look at that. Look at the amount of phones. Oh my god. Am I, am I the only one who's like never actually watched a video I filmed off of a concert? Right, I, I sometimes film a little bit when I'm on a concert. For example, I went to a Toto concert and I filmed like a minute of Africa because it used to want be one of my favorite songs when I was a kid. Just, you know, to have it. But I can't say I really watch it, you know? I've become more and more aware of just, it's nice to enjoy the concert in the moment than to film it, honestly. Like, the, does anyone actually watch their filmed concert mobile videos? Oh, we got some boys here just flapping about. Oh, yeah, gonna kick this... Kick this garb... <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of girls coming up. They're trying to impress the girls. Okay, I see. So he got taken out by the garbage can because he was trying to be a badass in front of the girls. Oh, yeah, he got he got completely neutered by that trash can. That's great. And now the next boy's coming up and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna take out this trash can. Think you can take my bro? I'm gonna show these girls to... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if we're gonna try to act tough... <laughs> In front of some ladies, <laughs> giving a trash can a 2 OKD <laughs> is probably not the way to do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. 
Oh, it's like a bit of a moonwalk tutorial. Oh, that's cool. Hey, you got. Uh, I suppose the takeaway is here if you're gonna have dance tutorials, don't do it walking backwards in a busy street, because cars are hard. Oh, we got a couple of lions blocking the road. Oh, they're such main characters. That's beautiful. Maybe the third lion will tell them their main characters and get them to move. Nope. <laughs> Just laying straight on top of them. They're like, you two can't be the main characters. I am even more main character -y. Vlomp. If it wasn't obvious enough they're related to house cats, this clip made it pretty clear they're related to house cats. <laughs> Wait, I know this clip. I'm famous and you're not. This is an ancient clip. This is from like VidCon back in like 2017 or something like that. I remember this because the dude by the door who's be like, oh, you're so ugly and I'm so hot. He was like a, a small influencer person who turned out to be a massive douchebag. And the security guard ended up getting a crap load of followers because of this, because everyone obviously supported how he handled the situation. And then he ended up getting a bigger account than the initial influencer douchebag. It was it was kind of a really, really funny turnout. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, I, I can I can see that. That it brings back some memories. I can see why he had some uh, some bad vibes because of this video. I wonder if this is like a, an early version of the sort of rage baiting we very often see today when someone is being outrageous on purpose and just hoping there are gonna be enough simps that like defend them and give them money anyway, you know? I wonder if this is a very like beta iteration of that phenomenon or if they are genuinely acting like this, you know? It doesn't make it particularly good one way or another, but I wonder if that is the case. Anyway, he got ratioed by the security guard with followers at the end of the day, so I would say the story had a quite happy ending, luckily. That was very nice to see. Okay, we're at a concert. Fi Wait a second, no, they're not filming the concert, they're filming- they're filming themselves. Doing TikTok miming to the- to the- <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm gonna sound like I'm really old and non-hip now. But if you're gonna pay money for a concert, isn't it cooler to, like, watch the actual concert? I can mime a TikTok anywhere. Like, it doesn't have to be to the live song. Like, the fact that you're at a concert doesn't add anything to the TikTok. <laughs> hey, everyone. I was at his concert this weekend. Here is my video from the concert. It is just a video of their face miming to the song. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> because the concert was really about me. <laughs> Okay, we're just dancing in a gym now. Did the people in the background, like, agree to this? Are you even there to work out? No, I guess I guess from that look he didn't agree to it. He's just... <laughs> he looks so please, dumb! Please, please, please don't do this nonsense at the gym. You're there yeah. to work out. Not film TikTok dance videos. And listen, I'm all for dance between sets or on the treadmill. Love to see people do it. I do it myself. That's fair, yeah, that's don't fair. don't do it standing directly next to somebody that's working out just so you can distract them to get a reaction so you can film it and post it on social media for likes and attention. People in the gym are not accessories for your social media content. Be more respectful of them. And listen, if you want to film dance videos, go in the studio classroom where nobody yeah. is and film as much as you want. But keep it off the gym floor. You need to do better. Mind your own business. That's exactly what I keep saying, right? Like, most of this stuff would be just fine in another context. It's like, why are they always filming in, like, a Walmart checkout? Or in a gym where just people are trying to go about their day? It's so weird. I wonder if it's just a rage baity part. I wonder if the logic they're banking on is just that it doesn't matter if it's like bad attention because hopefully enough simpy people will still subscribe to it, kind of. I wonder if that's the logic. It feels so similar to the crappy mobile game ads. I'm like, I'm flabbergasted it works to the extent that people keep doing it, right? It blows my mind. 
You're replaceable. Oh, you flash that hair, girl. Nothing you do is embarrassing if you choose to not be embarrassed. Stop holding back and just be you. Yas, look at all these NPCs in the background. Bestie, you're out of his league and you know it. Yas, walking through a parking garage. Uh, she is in her hot girl era. She's not double texting, not begging for some guy's attention and not bringing anyone to treat her right. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, being played by someone you lowered your standards for be like picking up bread in the grocery store. When two boys from the same friendship group starts moving to me at the same time, shut up, bestie. You don't miss him. You miss the attention. That's why you should make TikToks like these. When he says he isn't chatting to anybody but doesn't know the new girl is messaging is me on my fake account. <laughs> You're in his DMs. My family would disown me if we were ever in contact with each other again. All my exes always got annoyed at how much male attention I got. You should see it now. You're my ex. Oh my god, call the fire brigade on myself because my love life is one big hot mess. Yeah, I'm, I'm single, but if you see me with somebody, mind your business, I'm doing interviews. Okay, that's enough of this video. Dear god, I think I got a migraine. Why do they talk about relationships and dating and stuff as if they're like a 14 year old? writing dramatic fanfics and breakup Tumblr posts. Oh my god, I never double texted Bestie. My exes have always told me how frustrating it is to be my exes you talk to them. But guess what? Now you're my ex as well. So now you can tell me. I swear to god, in a couple of generations, the legal age is gonna be officially recognized as 43. Why is there Mario Kart in a main character video? Oh, Red Shell main character! I love it when that happens. I love it. This used to be my life hack back in Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. If you had a blue shell after you, you could purposefully hit like a banana peel. And, and that would spin your car around and the blue shell would just whiff. It was an absolutely beautiful life hack. I'm so glad to see it hasn't changed. I was the most petite girl in the biggest city. Everyone kept bumping into me due to my petiteness. This caused me to develop PTSD. Petit. Wait, what did I say? P -p Pause. Petit tiny stress disorder. <sighs> I'm gonna make a mistake by playing this again, aren't I? Okay, let's, let's play. I began singing myself to ease the pain. The entire city was moved by my performance. I'm gonna be honest. I, I can't tell if this is like serious if it's satire, or if it's a cringe satire, when they think that this is like satire, but it's still so cringe that it's cringe even though it's satire. It's like a double layer sh sandwich. Yeah. This is like if a bootleg freaking Disney movie was filmed IRL. <laughs> the Netflix adaptation of a bad Disney movie. Yippee! To all you women who thought it was such a good idea to comment on my video nasty things. That with me. This goes out to you. Ah. I am gonna find your husbands today. She oh. had enough of the negative comments from the women and had an idea of how to get back at them. Okay. I'm gonna message some girl's husbands and I'm gonna show you their responses. She even went so far as to have one of the women call her. You were being rude to someone you don't know, and you thought that you were going to get away with it with no consequences. Okay, that's it. I'm done here. Roxy had chosen three women whose partners were easy to find on the internet. And she even got a response from the men. There's your account. We're going to click your little Instagram there. Oh, I can't see any posts. But you do have your hubby tagged. Aw, Darren. Seems like such a nice name. I can already tell from his photo that he is very handsome. Oh, look at that. Follow. This is absolutely insane. A, you left me a mean comment on my Instagram post. So I'm a stalk your husband. <laughs> Instagram is linked. Let's just see. What, what is that eye oh filter? My gosh. Your boyfriend is also linked. Ah! Hers. We're gonna send him a little message. I said, hey, how's it going? What about hey, sugar balls. Handsome. How's it hanging? Instead of being a homewrecker, let's see if she's got. Oh, her TikTok says she's married. Oh, so great. Scroll a little bit and boom. I mean, if this thing should teach anyone anything, it's like internet safety. Because cause wacky, quirky people do be out there, fam. Two of the remaining three responded. The second one said, hey, there's an account using your pics. I was confused and said, what? Then he proceeds to send me a picture of space 
Uh, and says, because you're out of this world. This is so this is so cringe. Is this really what people spend their times on? My god, can we just go back to wrestling mammoths in the wild or something? But later that evening, I got another message from him saying, honestly, your looks got my attention. But after I regained focus, holy f you are hilarious too. I think this might be are, they, are these messages actually real? I am like... ...wants to talk on the phone. Like, people, people do be weird in DM, so I'm gonna be honest, I would know, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, yay, but like... Uh, I'm not entirely sure that these messages were actually real fam. Hello? <clears throat> what am I supposed to say when I... You stay far away from us both, or I will push charges. Oh, so that means that you're still with him? Of course I'm still with him. We've been married for 15 years. You've been married for 15 years and you reply to random weird DMs on Instagram from anyone who has like a pretty profile picture. This is insane. Sometimes I, I wonder if I'm like an alien or something because fam, I do not relate to any of this. After these videos, Roxy also received messages from women who were faking hate comments. They hoped Roxy would write to their husbands in the same way to test their loyalty. Oh my, this, oh Jesus Christ, man, I'm so... <laughs> I'm so happy I know none of these people. Hey there, random TikToker who picks fights with people for little to no reason. Can you loyalty test my partner? I swear to God, like, are, are these people adults? God damn it, man. Oh, I got some party. Why would you grab chocolate milk out of my fridge? It's your fridge? Yeah, it's my fridge. Why would you grab chocolate milk? Oh, no. And she started to, wait, is she trying to pour it back from the glass? ...happens in the world, like, you don't just go into somebody's fridge. Like, I wouldn't just walk into your place and go in your fridge and grab... Yeah. It's not the kind of person I am. I mean... It's a... It's like, it's a party, I would expect some stuff to be touched, but if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever hosted a party, even like back in the day, where people would just feel comfortable ransacking someone else's refrigerator. That That's kind of weird, honestly. It's one thing if you have like a pallet of beer and you put it in the refrigerator and there's a party, like yeah, you would expect a few of them to get snagged, that's that's fine, that's kind of how it rolls, but but like random food items, that, oh, that's pretty wild. I didn't try any over here. Oh, I'm late for class, I'm late for class. Oh, my shoe! Oh. oh. My wife's gonna be pissed. I'm a pedestrian. Oh my god. I mean, it's very obviously staged. No one got hurt. The person driving the car is in on it. Everything is staged. There's nothing in the stroller. But what happens when a bystander sees this and reflectively jumps into the road trying to save the stroller? What happens then? This this seems like an incredibly awful idea. Unless all the bystanders are in on it too, but then, like, is it really a prank? Then you can just go, go ahead and film a skit instead, like, fam. Yes, this blocking traffic to twerk. Get it, girl. Yes, queen, slay that traffic. Oh, they're <laughs> This. Oh my god. That's like the most instant karma I've ever seen in my life. And then you have the little jog of shame. Why are you running on the wrong side of the road? What? You... What an absolute disaster. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Michael, Jacob, Tyrone, girl power. Oh, is girl this power. is this doing what girl I think power. it is? Girl power. You're good. You're good, Queen. You're good. You're good. You're good. good. It's good. a it's like a women's only gym, isn't it? And it's like very much making oh. a mockery of. Of trans issues as well. Like this is. Mind. I'm a girl also. Okay. I'm just trying to become an Instagram influencer. So. Uh. We can collab sometime. I will have to ask you to leave first. You're making my ladies uncomfortable and filming in here. Girl. I'm I appreciate trying to reason with them, but they're so obviously putting on a bit. Finish my workout. Well, what's your first and last name? Canella. Can you spell that? You don't know how to spell Canella? No. Canilla? My nickname, like my Finsta. I want your name that you signed up for a membership with. 
Wait, so they don't even have a membership. They're filming in the gym. They're making an absolute mockery. They're bothering all the people there and bothering the people in charge. Like, this is... This is like a few different levels of just... That's a, that's a female. Ugh. I'm sure it is. No, like, can you paint yourself? This is a female. This video feels like the entire thing is a joke that just didn't only land, but just smash cracked into the wall. Run! Right. Yeah. Now that you're here... We're gonna escort you guys outside. Are you gonna put me in handcuffs? No. Oh. It's a non-arrestable offense. You're just getting the trespass warning. I'm not gonna lie, I would rather have the handcuffs. If you do go back onto property, you will be arrested for trespass. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a bad girl. I don't like to listen. You will go to jail. If that's not what you want, then don't go back inside. Yeah, not. I only want the kinky handcuffs. <sighs> this is... It's not even funny. Like, I thought pranks and jokes and stuff were at least supposed to have, like, a punchline or something funny. Or, you know, when you reveal at the end that it's actually a joke, it's like, haha, that was pretty funny. It was, it was an interesting experience to be a part of. This is just really annoying. This is just, haha, I'm a trespass and dress up to make a mockery uh, out of trans issues and be a general nuisance and also film all of it and, and then get trespassed. And that's content? What? Ugh. And we're doing an interview today for uh, Arizona, our school, for our... For and it's like a Walmart school. again, I swear to God. Can you guys do a quick interview for us real quick? Sure. Sure. Okay, so uh, how does it feel that your girlfriend looks like a man more than you in the relationship? That's fair. Feels good? Sure, man. All right, I care. <laughs> I like how chill they are about it, though. So who... Where's the, your girlfriend? So who's... They're the, still following them. My girlfriend's in California. Oh, she is? Yeah. Oh, does she go to a different school? A different oh, school? Oh, Lord. She goes no, to a different no, school. No, no. I live in California, sweetheart. I'm just here on... Oh. I'm just here to troll you. Oh, I drove six... Dick. I drove six hours to harass you. Oh, I'm sweetheart now. Yeah. Hey, you want to know how this can get even worse? Oh, my how? God. You're going to love burn. this. Okay. All right, you ready? Sh say shout out Frank Hassel. I got this one from him. This is my cart now. This is my cart. Dude, you this is my cart. Why'd you do that? Why the f*** would you do that? Are you gonna clean it up? Bro, why would you knock You're your f***ing This is just over. like you took my, TikTokers you took my going cart. around this is my cart. harassing this people is my cart. and claiming it's a prank or something. Yes, I'm right, filming you. Car. I'm gonna put you on Facebook and call the you... The girl racist. just looks so I'm done. She's so done. Yeah. This oh, is look, my they cart. have a little edit going. How dare you? Oh, wow. This racist Everyone, white man stole man my cart. My cart. He's, he's mentally... My name is Dr. Don Wario. I mean, good thing you posted this for the entire world to see that you're also, like, a lying douchebag. If, if you're gonna try to, like, cancel someone for racism, filming yourself, you know, harassing them and, and putting on the whole thing and then posting it is probably the dumbest thing you can do. I can't believe this. And no one is even buying it. Oh my god. It's... It's so... Oh. The whole thing is so stupid. Everything is so stupid. Jesus Christ. Oh, we got our boy with sunglasses. Ooh. Ooh. Get the hint, bro. Get the hint. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. That's, mm. Oh, this. Oh, my God. This makes me so uncomfortable. Why are you grabbing them like that? Oh, my God. He would get along great with that weird girl that was trying to, like, dance with and fondle up the DJ. They would get along just fine. Their lack of hint getting seems to be roughly on par. Why? You filmed this and posted it. <laughs> Unironically. Oh, shame doesn't exist anymore. Oh no, what is the pupper up to? What are you gonna do, pupper? No! No, don't film a TikTok for people to watch! Don't chase the clout! No, don't do it! No! No! Not the twerking! Puppy, no! Oh my god, we have our new main character TikToker right here. As if it couldn't get worse. Okay, just kidding. The rule I made for us is that dogs are acceptable main characters. So this is fine. Gold star. I think we've had two of those in the video. That's so sad. So you know how main characters often create a mess, think through the center of the universe, and expect other people to clean up after them. Well, I found a video of a main character actually helping the store clean up after itself. Let's watch it together, shall we? Look at this. They're just like moonwalking through the store. You see everything just getting put back into place. They're so efficient with cleaning. What's that? We're playing the video backwards. No, don't be silly. Don't be silly. This is a main character good arc. What's the opposite of a villain arc? Good guy arc. This is the good guy arc. Look at that. Just like, ah, oh, cleaning up the mess. Helping your everyday local worker. This is so wholesome. Oh my god, yes. Look at that. 
they got the moves while doing it as well. This is so good. Look at wow. Wow, this is amazing. If we all could be like this, the world would be just a little bit better. These two girls grabbed my butt in the gym, then laughed at me when I got upset. They tried to act like I was tripping when I wasn't okay with it. Uh, and no one takes it seriously either. Yeah, that's... Uh, Assault a man is not okay. Start reporting women to the police. Yeah, I think stuff like this is really, really nasty. That is always taken as a joke. It's something I've experienced quite a few times myself. Like a surprising number of times. And it's not really taken seriously. Some aspects to it can be argued. It's like it's not as physically threatening, for example. Which I suppose it's fair. But it doesn't take away from the nastiness of it. And it doesn't take away from someone invading your space, touching your private parts, anything like that. It doesn't make it automatically okay. And stuff like this is often very much just joked about. So don't do this Call it out, for God's sake. Neighbor had her car towed for parking in the alleyway. She put envelopes with this message on everyone's door, claiming now people with close addresses will receive poor care from her at Hopkins. <laughs> what kind of... What kind of threat is this? Okay, let, let's get into it, shall we? Neighbor, in the Old Testament... <laughs> My car got towed. Let's quote the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, the meaning of the term implies one related by the bond of nationality, a fellow countryman, a compatriot. My daughter is a nurse at Hopkins, works 12-hour shifts and was working all through COVID. She has been saving her money and was able to buy her first house here, in this beautiful city, in this old ham community. Caps locked for some reason. Saturday, as we were busy trying to get her moved in as quickly as possible during the heavy rains, a neighbor, see definition above, from the Old Testament, who we can only assume has the phone number memorized, called and had one of our cars towed. We were not blocking traffic. The car was well on the side of her end unit. It had only been there 15 minutes and we went to unload it and it was gone. Why did you do it? Are you not familiar with the definition of neighbor? Do you enjoy taunting strangers from the shelter of your curtains? Well, if they were blocking the alleyway, I, I suppose, because the parking probably isn't allowed there, <laughs> and then they're blaming others and be like, how dare you tow it when, when you were probably Probably the one, like, in a weird place to begin with. That's very main character, isn't it? Perhaps you have social anxiety, have never heard of the welcome the neighbor by alerting them, introducing yourself, showing your face. Are you jealous? Maybe you're a narcissist. Maybe, maybe you are a narcissist. <laughs> and throw away all your family with your cruelty. <laughs> maybe you are an abuser. <laughs> what is this tangent? My car got towed. Did you know that my neighbors are literally Hitler? Perhaps you are hideously ugly, or addicted to gaming, or pornography, or alcohol. What? Maybe your go-to is food and you belong on 600 pound life. This was a 15 minute entertainment stunt that you somehow got a fix off of, that in my mind made me feel so very sad for you. You see, now we get to spin the tale of who you are and turn you into whoever we want. Like, did someone even call? Did, I'm, I'm gonna be, or did they just get towed because they were parking in like a non-allowed spot and eventually got towed? That can, that can also happen. It doesn't necessarily mean, you know, specifically a neighbor called. And in the end, it will be laughable to us. To us, you are all of the above. Oh, <laughs> you just made up a person to be mad about because your car got towed. This is unhinged. And what you don't know is there are good people in the world, one being the towing driver who did not charge the thousand dollars listed to the sign you know so well once they heard the story. But someday you may need to go to the hospital and need help. You're in pain and you're scared. Will my daughter be the one that opens your electronic chart to see the address is so close related to hers and has suspicions? Are you saying that you're gonna like purposefully let your neighbors die? when they go to the hospital because you suspect that someone might have called to get your car towed at one time. I feel like this would probably cost your daughter her job. This is an awful thing to post. Is the daughter actually in on this? Or are you just like being unhinged towards your neighbors and potentially messing up any kind of job opportunity in the medical field your daughter will ever have? This is nuts. And the irony of this person accusing other people of being narcissists is pretty rich, isn't it? Will you get the best care? Will you need help one day in the neighborhood? Knock on her door and expect assistance? Perhaps will make you think through your next stunt? Perhaps not sadly for some mean and miserable in their life's motto. This- <laughs> This is so unhinged. If my neighbors go to the hospital, I might just let them die because I'm salty my car got towed once. 
that is, uh, yeah, that is a thing to put in writing. I'm, I'm so sad for the daughter if she is not in on this, that she has a mother that goes around and like make, makes life threatening things in her name for her profession. That, that's probably something to get, get some raps on, Jesus Christ. Well, laddies, lasses, and lassos, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here, you wonderful, beautiful bean, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it, and I will see you in the very next video. Take care. Mwah.